Hi, my name's Ross Hauser. I'm medical director of Caring Medical in Oak Park, Illinois. There's been a lot of talk and research on PRP or platelet-rich plasma prolotherapy. In this video, you're going to view how the blood is processed for PRP prolotherapy and an actual procedure, how we utilize PRP prolotherapy with Hemwall Hackett prolotherapy. I will do the voiceover and explain the actual procedure. If you have any questions, please email me at drhauser at caringmedical.com or view our website at www.caringmedical.com. Here you're seeing the blood drawn for platelet-rich plasma. When someone has chronic pain, the idea of stimulating the body to repair the painful area, which is the basic premise of prolotherapy, it makes a lot of sense to just use as natural of a process as you can. Well, platelet-rich plasma or PRP prolotherapy is a method whereby we're going to concentrate the person's own growth factors and inject those growth factors in the degenerated injured areas to initiate the healing cascade. Here you'll see the medical assistant putting the person's blood in a specialized plasma chamber and this plasma chamber has a specific filter that will separate out the uh, platelet-rich portion of the blood. The whole uh, centrifuging or processing of the blood takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Ultimately we'll get out the platelet-rich portion of the blood. The platelets are specialized blood cells that are basically storehouses for growth factors. These are the growth factors that are normally needed by the human body to initiate the healing of connective tissues such as ligaments or tendons. So somebody has a non-healing injury such as a meniscal injury, labral injury, a tendinosis, tendinopathy, non-healing ligament injury, then the injection of these growth factors into the area will initiate the healing cascade. Here you're going to see the medical assistant take off the platelet pore portion of the blood which is the yellow portion and what will be left is the red portion which has the platelet rich portion of the blood. In this fraction of the blood you have growth factors such as platelet derived growth factor, transforming growth factor, epidermal growth factor, fibroblastic growth factor, all these growth factors stimulate healing. They specifically stimulate cell replication, new blood vessel formation. It, the growth factors will promote the healing of connective tissues such as ligaments or tendons. It'll promote the formation of extracellular matrix and everything that's needed to get the weakened, damaged, injured area strong. So here you see the medical assistant drawing up the platelet-rich portion of the blood. So the whole process is a way to take a portion of blood and then fractionate out or concentrate out the portion of the blood that has the healing factors, growth factors in the blood, and then inject those growth factors specifically where the person or the athlete has the damaged, injured tissue and the net result will be good, solid, healed tissue so the person gets pain-free and gets back to all their activities. This video shows an actual PRP, platelet-rich plasma prolotherapy procedure. What you'll notice on this video also is that the patient also received Hemwall Hackett prolotherapy. Here I'm anesthetizing the inside of the knee with some anesthetic. This is needed because platelet-rich plasma does cause a lot of inflammation, so this will make it more comfortable for the patient. After this, I'll inject the platelet-rich portion of the person's blood that has growth factors well, that will initiate a healing cascade inside this person's knee. We'll often use this when folks have 
articular cartilage or meniscal injuries within the knee. And you can see the person's tolerating this procedure fine. Um, we did rub a anesthetic cream on the skin, so that decreases the pain of the procedure quite a bit. Now we're going to do hemwall hackett prolotherapy of the knee, specifically here doing the medial collateral ligament and the pes and serena tendons. And the reason to do that is that it's very seldom that a person's pain is just due to some intraarticular pathology, such as osteoarthritis, cartilage problems, or meniscal problems. Typically, people also have tenderness or pain around the knee. And if you don't receive hemwall hackett type prolotherapy around the knee and just get platelet-rich plasma prolotherapy inside the knee, generally the pain still remains after PRP. So it's really important to do all these structures around the knee, such as here I'm doing the lateral collateral ligament. And as you can see, the whole procedure it takes, you know, a minute, two minutes. It shouldn't take a lot of time. It shouldn't be very painful. And the process is, uh, is very well tolerated and very effective for relieving chronic knee pain.